Wow. That's pretty cool. Wowie, wowie, wowie. some J hangers another one and lots of people hanging out on the roof of the cup and a couple people some stragglers hanging out on the food but we've got some healthy happy painted ladies everybody good afternoon butterfly square garden jason sebastian welcome back just showing off a little update with our painted lady caterpillars they've been eating their food i don't know how long i showed you guys um maybe a couple weeks ago that the caterpillars would stay in the cup until they pupate and that's what's been happening so that's what the j hangers are I counted um, seven, I think another seven, and then like a six, and then maybe a three. I forget, I counted maybe 22 caterpillars. So they eat all their food. I don't really like the fact that there's seven caterpillars in one cup because the entire top layer is just all, you know, caterpillar waste and it's hard to see inside because they cover the whole cup with silk but that's what they do so they finish eating then they climb to the top they hang out until they're ready they spin a little silk button and then they hang down like a little J or a hook and then when they're ready to pupate they will shed their skin and they will look like a chrysalis that you are more familiar with so that'll be happening over, you know, the next couple of hours. And those are our painted ladies. So we're going to have painted lady butterflies soon. It is getting a little cold out, you know. It's kind of the end of September. So I think maybe if I just keep the room warm enough, it will be a good environment for the caterpillars and the butterflies. So... Once they shed their skin and their chrysalis, I'm going to take them out um, and then put like a little paper towel so that whoever's left can, can pupate. But hopefully no one falls down. Sometimes they fall off and land on the bottom and then you got to deal with that later. But they look good. Anyways, over here we've got butterflies no they're um monarch chrysalis one two three four five six seven and then we've got a monarch j hang over here plus another two and there's one more caterpillar eating the leaves so that is my adult monarch caterpillar update and then over here we've got the baby monarchs there are a lot of them so they will kind of swarm a leaf and turn it into a skeleton like you see over here uh, it's a little different you know the large caterpillars will eat the entire leaf but the babies will skeletonify it and that's what's been going on. So it's a little hard to deal with, uh, you know, moving the dry leaves and putting the new ones in, but it's really not hard, what am I saying? I've got a couple extras for later because they are starting to go through the leaves pretty fast now. Oh, oh, you're so cute. They're doing really well. And we haven't run out of milkweed yet. 
What else? What else? What else? Let me show you a quick little update with the butterflies. Ooh. Okay. We've got the dishes, the micro puddles, people hanging out. It is a little colder, so butterflies do sun themselves. They absorb the warmth in their wings, just like a little kitty cat. Cats don't have wings, but they do like to lay in the sun because they're solar powered. And those are my little milkweed cut leaves that I pinned to the wall. I haven't seen anyone mating, so there are no eggs. Maybe once all the baby caterpillars, um, they kind of all need to mature at the same time. That one's got crumpled wings. I wonder what that's about. But everyone else looks pretty good. Yep, if I were to look up, we've got butterflies flying, healthy, beautiful, perfect wings. They look wonderful. Definitely make sure you put your butterflies in the window with the sun. And we're gonna have some painted ladies soon. I think I'll put them, there we go. We got someone drinking. They just walk up and start drinking all on their own. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna refill these dishes with more Gatorade so that they have plenty to drink. And that's it, that's really all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, zip. Wow, they're so beautiful. If we were to look out the window, oh man, the net's in the way. Stupid screen, but you can see I do have milkweed plants still out there. Hi, butterflies. So we still have milkweed. I've got my little art project of the butterflies. I think later today I'm gonna undo a couple more of these and put them in the Petri dishes, which I have over here, but I'm running out of Petri dish. You know, I'm running out. I'm gonna have to get more. So that's really it. Oh, there's two caterpillars in here. I knew I counted 12. There's one on top and one on the bottom. So that's why they've got extra leaves. So that's really it, everybody. Just wanted to give you a quick update. So get ready for some painted ladies. Can't wait. I love painted ladies. They're so pretty. They're like little monarchs. They're really, really easy to take care of. So that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Plants, butterfly host plants. Can I get a better light? It's like, it doesn't really matter what the light is because it's really dirty in there. I think the light made it even worse. Okay, well, that's it. I'll keep you guys posted and plant native milkweed and burdock and thistle and dill and anise, um, agastache, I don't know. There's lots of different butterfly plants, look it up. Thanks, hope you learned something, and as always, love you, bye.